we're asking our senior member of the Democratic Club, Mr. Paul Curry, to come up and help us with the unveiling. And also one of our other committee members, Bonnie Tibbs and Jim Hunter from the New Jersey Orders. So right now. It took a lot of um, searching for this actual photo. It took us months to come up with what we have here. I think it's a beautiful photo, very befitting and honoring Martin Luther King. And uh, Booker T. Washington once said, in life, you may not get everything you pay for, but you will pay for everything you get. And our Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., he paid for a lot. He paid the price for all of us, for all of America, not just black America, but for all of America. And to him, we honor him. Specifically, I want to thank uh, Councilman Rajiv Prasad because when we did the unveiling for our president, he said, well, what about Martin Luther King? We need to put up Martin Luther King. I said, okay, Councilman Prasad, you go ahead and you run with it. And he was tenacious about it. it took him months, he kept coming up with more and more photos. I'd like to thank our township manager. He spent a lot of time helping us out with that, Bob Barlocker. And this is a great day in honor of Martin Luther King, Jr. Thank you, Kimberly, and uh, thank you, Mr. Curry, for uh, unveiling this, and the mayor and the deputy mayor was not here for setting this up, and of course, Bob, for all his hard work <laughs> and getting the portrait framed and everything else. Uh, Dr. King is something, somebody who is very personal to me. Uh, my grandparents were part of the Gandhian freedom struggle, and Gandhi himself had come and stayed in my home three times uh, in 1918, 20, and 22. And uh, Dr. King went and spent a year in India uh, with all the disciples of Gandhi, learning about the nonviolent way uh, to uh, attain uh, civil rights and equal rights and independence, etc. So, um, fast forward to my coming to the United States, uh, Gandhi, who had been in South Africa, the country ended up in apartheid, and had I come here uh, without Dr. King, I would have ended up uh, in an apartheid uh, type of uh, country, and uh, it would not have been that uh, good for anybody rights would not have been there. And so we owe a big debt of gratitude for all the equal rights, not just for uh, you know, the African Americans, but for everybody. And that's the, the key factor that he uh, provided us with, and the equality that he provided us. And as a result, today we have an African American president, and uh, it's primarily due to Dr. King's efforts and uh, the culmination of that. So honoring him is a personal uh, issue for me, and so that's why I wanted to do it. Thank you, and all the, the benefits I've enjoyed in America are all due to him. Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King meant a lot to a lot of people. The fact that the Township Council is displaying his picture here is a credit to this Council. And I want to thank the Council for displaying this picture here. Mayor, Council, I thank you as a citizen here. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Mayor and Council. You know what, this is always not uh, a usual spot that I like to be in, I like to have my children do this type of activity. But Dr. King has meant so much to so many people, and for this township to take the time to honor him with this portrait says a lot about you and about this township, and what we have to offer for not only for our own township, but for the entire country. Let us continue to take what he has given us and take it forward to the next generation. Thank you. Uh, I think everyone said it much more eloquently than I, but uh, we can 
learn from Dr. King, of course, everything from the obvious, like the nonviolence, but the, uh, the compassion towards people and for the town to honor him is uh, a great honor for uh, the council and the members who did this. So I, uh, I'll applaud you because you did a lot of the work. And as a community, we can take greater comfort and forethought that we can move forward. And those of us who are sitting here maybe can take a look around us once in a while, or I should put it upon myself. I'll try and look around us once in a while and try and see what these people, I say men, but if it, there's a good woman behind all of them, I know, <laughs> they were, uh, were doing and, and trying to advocate for us. So, and uh, Mr. Tibbs, Mr. Curry, Mr. Hunter, thank you for taking your time here also. Thank you. Thank you.